And here we are as Christians in Canada. We're to be in this nation, but not of this nation. In the world, but not of the world. God's stretched out arm will push us to where he wants us to be. And this is going to be, this is going to be the thing. We're going to have the choice to make. God's going to come in and intervene in this nation. It's just a matter of time. And when he does so with his great temptations, with his great trials, with his great, he's going to be talking about his great word. He's going to be speaking to us. And those that are listening and are ready and willing to obey it, God's stretched out hand will be a blessing in your life. If we're not as separate as we should be, you're ready. He will separate us. And he'll do it by the trials that we are soon to be facing. Go to Ezekiel chapter 16. I think the last slide. Jeremiah's... Another warning to his people, they need to get separated before he starts separating. Ezekiel chapter 16. And in verse 26. Thou hast also committed fornication with the Egyptians, thy neighbors, great of flesh. Thou hast increased thy whoredoms to provoke me to anger. Behold, therefore I have stretched out my hand over thee, okay? And have diminished thine ordinary food, and delivered thee into the will of them that hate thee. The daughters of the Philistines, which are ashamed of thy lewd ways. Even the heathen are ashamed of the way some Christians live. Thou hast played the whore also with the Assyrians, because thou wast insatiable. Yea, thou hast played the harlot with them, and yet couldst not be satisfied. Thou hast moreover multiplied thy fornication in the land of Canaan unto Chaldee, and yet thou wast not satisfied therewith. How weak! Is thine heart, saith the Lord God, seeing thou doest all these things. We've got to ask ourselves today. Okay, there's people that are committing spiritual fornication. There's people that are committing real fornication that would call themselves Christians. And yet God here is giving, as he always does, that silver lining of, of grace, where he could cause somebody who is right before him to walk through the midst of the fiery furnace, to walk through the, 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 the rivers and the floods that are overflowing the banks of the Jordan. They could, they could walk through great trials and tribulations if they would only seek God with their whole heart. Yet for some of us, he's going to have to take our provision and diminish it. He's going to have to put an enemy in our house and cause him to rule over us. And if we continue to be unsatiable and unsatisfied and covetous in the way we live our lives, always wanting more, never being satisfied, never just saying the Lord is enough and seeking after him, then the question needs to be asked, how weak is thy heart because thou doest these things? How weak is your heart that, that you would choose yourself over God? How weak is your heart that you would choose food for your belly over, over walking in the faith for our Lord? How weak is your heart that you would choose rebellion over religion, over walking in the ways of God, loving thy neighbor as thyself, taking care of the fatherless and widows in their affliction and keeping yourself unspotted from the world? How weak is your heart when you'd rather rebel in every aspect of your life. How weak is your heart that you'll choose smut over scriptures? So God stretches out his hand. He judges, he rebukes, he does it with all power and all authority as he has always done and as he will continue to do as he enacts his will in this world. And like I said, he gives every individual the ability, the opportunity to choose him. God stretches out his hand. Is it going to be power that crushes and destroys you with this world? Or is it going to be power that extends mercy to you and carries you through what's going to happen? I think every one of us sitting here would, would, would say, yeah, I want, I want the blessings of God. I want the provision of God. I want, I want God to carry me through what's to come. You've got a choice to make.